Hunting with Alan Shanks Safaris has been an incredible experience. As a new hunter coming to an area that you're unfamiliar with, with people that you don't know, uh, can definitely be challenging. And he made the experience one I won't forget. Coming to Alan Shanks Safaris is unbelievable. I've never been treated so well. They go going above and beyond here. He treated uh, me great the last two times, but this time I brought my girlfriend over with me and seeing how patient he was with a new hunter that's female is amazing. He, he does the extra step. How's that feel? Beautiful. Coming to Africa was really an opportunity for me to experience something I've never done before. Coming to Africa really advanced the development of my hunting skills in a very short period of time. Just go quietly up here, get to the top, get your breath back. Then we're going to walk along that ridge over there. Wind's coming nicely up. Don't be a lot of animals up there, very good area. Alan spotted this monster warthog off in the distance. The excitement was building and Alan loves hunting warthog. Hey, got him, eh? Yay! Good job! <laughs> That's a big pig. That's a nice pig. Can walk over and get him now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Walking up to the warthog, this was my first Whoa. kill in Africa, and he really Whoa. was an absolute Whoa. monster warthog. This is a huge, this is a huge pig. Well <laughs> done! <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Crystal, you have got no idea what you've shot here. A pig like this, a warthog like this, you know how scarce it is to get that size. I mean, just look at it. Look, he's got a little wart there above his eye there too. You see that? You see the, the males, the male warthogs have got two warts on either side of the head and the females only got one. In a personal way, it has had a huge impact on my confidence. Also getting out there and working as hard as we do here, it really uh, showed me what I was capable of that I definitely didn't realize. Alan, the PH, he noticed a warthog hole down at the bottom of the mountain. There was something moving around in it. And we investigated further and we thought it was a warthog, but it turns out it was a porcupine. Having the opportunity in the day, we kind of switched from her hunt to, okay, this is an opportunity we can't pass up. Yes, I you. Thank you, Dietrich, to the same. Good shot. 
<laughs> you just see this, I just saw coals flying out the hole. Did oh, you yeah. see that? No. We realized that it is not an easy task to get to it now because we had a valley that was pretty steep and dangerous to go retrieve this animal. So Fusi, our tracker, he was nice enough to go retrieve the porcupine for us. I feel grateful because it was a little scary situation that I didn't feel comfortable to put myself into. Okay, let's go get him. Whoa, look at that porcupine, eh? <laughs> look at the size of the thing. Well done, man. Jeez. Well, Emerson, it's very rare to get one of these in the daytime. Very and good. what a shot. It's, uh, it's extremely rare. So this is like a first for me, eh? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's exciting. I always wanted a porcupine. And having it in the day and not shooting at night, that's a good thing. This is a big boy too. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. A lot different than the porcupines we have in Canada. Yeah. Hell of a lot different. Bigger, longer quills. Oh yeah, they're nice. We don't have quills like this. They're big. They could do some damage. This is a big porcupine. <laughs> You take the factor back of how beautiful of an animal it is. It's mind-boggling difference between ours and theirs. Uh, we got up to the top and looking across over the field, we ended up seeing this really nice herd of blessed buck. Just as we're about to crest the hill, Vusi, our tracker, notices the bull standing just over the other side. Oi! Just behind the shoulder, you can shoot. Gun down! Uh, walking up to my blessed buck was definitely one of my more exciting moments in South Africa. Uh, I reacted very strongly to that kill. Nice old ram, nice That's symmetrical. beautiful. Long tips. You see they got these glands by his eyes and they groom themselves. See how shiny his coat is. Like a gland that secretes a kind of oil. Oh my gosh. And they rub themselves and they groom themselves. Alan ended up spotting a bush buck off in the distance, uh, which was really exciting. That was definitely one of the animals on the top of my list to hunt in South Africa. They're absolutely beautiful. Off we went into another position, off to the left a bit, and laid back down, and uh, finally he turned broadside for me a bit. That sounded like a good shot. It looked, when, when, when the bullet hit, that sounded like he jumped. Betty. 
like this. Just keep watching, man. Just keep watching. Done. Good job. Well done. Oh, very good. Brilliant shooting. Look at that for a pretty bush buck. Oh man. Hold him. Hold his horns. Oh, look at that. Need the luck. Bushbuck has been an animal that has been on my list. They have the most brilliant coats. His horns were stunning and the markings on them were so unique. Uh, so after a long day of hunting, we're getting ready to head back to the lodge and Looking forward to a fire and a relaxing evening uh, when Alan tells me that he's got a bait site set up that hasn't seen a lot of action lately that has some nice bush pigs coming into it. Uh, so we had to jump on an opportunity while we had it on our last evening in South Africa. Okay. Got up to the bait site and Alan and Vusi uh, started getting things set up, uh, getting rid of scent while we got everything set up in the blind. feeding, all of a sudden they'll stop and they'll listen. When they stop and listen, don't move because then they're listening. If they carry on and eat, eating, if they carry on eating, then you obviously move into position or change, we'll change what needs to be changed and get yourself comfortable and whatever. Um, but try and eliminate as much movement as you possibly can. Uh, while sitting there, uh, the sun went down and we waited about an hour and once it was good and dark, we started hearing some rustling uh, out in the bushes. We're not going to mess around though. The minute he comes in and he gives a shot, we're going to clap him, eh? Full of lung blood. 
blood. Look at that. That's wicked. Look at that. That should oh. be a brilliant shot. <laughs> Oh my word, look at the size of this ball. Man, oh, good job. Wow. Look at that, that's beautiful. Look at the size of that pig. Yes, look at that. Look at these plates under his eyes and these big bee stings. You see the knobs on his nose. That's a beautiful, beautiful bush pig. Absolutely br brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Zebra that we shot three days ago. <laughs> Super fresh and so delicious. The food and the lodge was absolutely amazing. And I'm really looking forward to our next trip back in 2021. I'm coming back. I mean, other outfitters, I travel and hunt all over the place, but Africa, Alan Shank Safaris is the place to be.